She's running through the. <laughs> My horse is wreaking havoc in this town today. Well, what a perfect way to enter the game. Pirate Morgan, Captain Morgan, Captain Pirate Morgan, with like the sound of bells and the seagulls, and we're on like a dock right now with water and everything. It's so great. It's perfect. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well today. We're back with some more Red Dead. It's been over a week since I've been able to play. I was gone for just a long weekend. It was super nice. I was able to finish The Hobbit. It was my first time reading through The Hobbit book. And now I'm going to be starting The Lord of the Rings. So I'm very excited. Those are my first read-throughs of those game, those games, those books. And I just am obsessed. I'm re-obsessed. Um, fun fact, I actually always went to the premieres of like the Lord of the Rings. I don't think we did the Hobbits, but the Lord of the Rings with my dad and my grandpa. Um, that would be like our little tradition to go and see those movies as soon as they came out. Super awesome. Anyway, I'm a big fan. And I'm a big fan of this game as well. So we're going to continue today with Red Dead. Um, yeah, and I just appreciate your support so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you stuck through the entire series so far, I know this is a long game. And I know I still have a ways to go. Um, we just ended chapter three and started chapter four in the last episode. So if you missed it, make sure to watch that. It was crazy. I was getting whiplash from all the emotional things happening at the same time. Is there a train in this town? Do you guys know that? <laughs> but now we are back with the whole gang. It was just, it was so much, so much going on in the last episode. So yeah, appreciate you so much. I do have some things I would like to, I, I wrote down a post-it note of things I would like to do today. I want to make sure to read all my recipe pamphlets because I had a few of you comment um, about that a few episodes ago and I thought that reading them made me remember the recipe but it didn't show anything on the screen or at least I don't remember and some of you were saying it does show like you've learned this recipe in the corner or something so I'm gonna make sure to read all my pamphlets today my awesome friend Rob had two requests so I'm gonna see if I can do those today I'll wait until they actually happen though to say them and then someone said L1 to spin my weapon when I'm putting my my uh my gun away so we're gonna try that too this is such a cool shot Whoa! Every, every time. Every time. Anyway. Also, you guys said this is a special- Like, what are the odds I would land on this stuff? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> what in the heck? His eyeballs glitching. How did I even get to these docks? It's, it's like they knew. Ooh, there's a pretty white horse over there as well. I also like changed my monitors again. I had some issues. I've been playing GTA 5 um, on the Twitch stream, like I've mentioned before, if you've heard me mention that at the end of videos and stuff every once in a while, but it's been so fun. But for some weird reason, the graphics for GTA 5 looked so washed out and it was a yes, HDR so. problem with the Xbox. Now it's all fixed. But anyway, I, I wanna make sure this is all good too. Show but it looks so much better now on this monitor because I figured out my monitor has different settings I can do as well. It has HDR, it has like standard, it has game, you look like a right whatever. Mess. Hi. Hey, mister. Hello. So anyway, so now it looks like even better right now on this monitor. It's so beautiful. Hello, mister. Hello. I don't know where I am. Am I at work? Mister. Hey, partner. Ooh, pretzels. Okay, so I gotta go. Look Sorry. Me. Look at. Hi, Arvok. Missed you. What's hey, up? Pat, feed, and brush. <laughs> Good girl. Three, three, three things we always gotta do. Also, someone mentioned I need to rewatch my own video, but someone mentioned I almost got robbed at the tailor or something. So that would be something fun to. I wanna go back and watch that so I can see it happen because I didn't realize it. Oh dang, we still got a pelt on our back? Jeez, well I guess we might as well go get rid of that as well. Come on. Uh, where is the trapper? Okay, there's the trapper and then, yeah, we are trying to find this jabroni. 
Angelo Bronte. Because apparently they are one of the people that has Jack. Gosh, it was so crazy. Now we have a new base as well at Shady Bell, I think. Yeah, Shady Bell. And yeah, it's been cool to kind of be moving along the map. The more you explore, it's like, oh, well now I've already been in that area, so I know a little bit about it. So I wonder if we're going to go up at some point towards like Van Horn or anywhere up here. We already kind of started in the mountains, so who knows? We're going to find out. And I guess, am I in the middle of a mission right now with the yellow? Also, it's made it so bright on my monitors that it's like freaking blazing on my face now. All right, Trapper, let's go to him. There's really only like two roads in this whole town. I should be able to figure it out by now. You done good, girl. We're back. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta remember how to break. That's weapon. Okay, I do not want to get in trouble. This is what I always did. Okay, I think it's that. Sometimes he says like, "Whoa, girl." Okay. I think it's that. I think it's the R1. Anyway, whenever I was uh, <laughs> playing Skyrim and stuff, doing my playthrough of that, I would. Oh! Oh, hold on. Get it! Can I talk to this person? song I love it it's kind of kind of hoping they would be a stranger I can meet or something seriously the game looks so much better with change my monitor I had it on eco mode so it was making everything super muted you know trying to save that energy bro cut me off oh crap that wasn't me I didn't do it I am not helping this guy with his freaking. One. Oh, was another beggar guy. I guess. Where are you? There they are. Here. Ooh, what is that, please? Chinese something something. Here you go. Here you go. Twenty-five cents for you. Go get yourself something to eat. Oh yeah. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Oh, special snake it's nice oil. Give something instead of just begging. Thank you. Very nice of you. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. I'm sorry. <sighs> 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 Have a good day. I hope everything gets better for you. I don't think I can do anything with this place, but I just want to look at it and see what it is. Oh, it's like a Chinese restaurant. Wow, look at this. Fire dragon. Oh, Jade Dragon. Pecking restaurant. So cool. Oh, snap. What kind of get up is that? The best get up, that's what it is. Wow, look how beautiful this looks right now. Wow. So cool. I'm easy to please, if you can't tell by now. I think it's so nice enjoying these things, these little touches, you know? I am a person that does like to uh, mostly focus on the main missions and stuff. But I do, really? Really, you had to go right then, bro? Easy, Holy easy. crap. Something break in your head. <laughs> Something break in your head. Look how cool. Dra a tiger? A lion? Le lion de or. Uh, that's just how I wanted to pronounce it. Uh -huh. 
I should be saying stuff at the same time, huh? I'm just enjoying the sights of the lights on in this town. Well, I guess we'll go to Angelo Bronte right here. Figure out what's going on. Maybe it's this person at the bench. Is that Ghetto Square? Hey, what do you know about Angelo Bronte? Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay. Dang, this is like the hanging area. Sheesh. Hey there. What do you know you about ever Bronte? Heard of a man called Angelo Bronte. Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh! <laughs> How'd that happen? She, she's literally blocking the way. <laughs> I didn't park her there. I didn't do it. We're moving, we're moving. Don't get your boxers in a twist. I don't know. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, we investigated one. Now let's get to the tailors. Or sorry, not the tailor. Oh, I was gonna say, isn't it here in the market? Pitch the horse. We're gonna have to go to sleep. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Don't take don't take my hat. Hi. Hello, sir. Alright, trapper. Excuse me, sorry, buddy. Just when I thought I heard it all. That's oh. for a while, eh? Good to see you. He's still open. Buck antlers. Using crafting or sold. Guess I should maybe keep them just in case. Let's get rid of this good buck pal. I don't even know where I got it, honestly. All right, thank well, you very much. While, eh? So it has buy been. Or selling. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. I don't think we have anything. We haven't done any legendary anything lately. <laughs> oh, weapons holster. What? Weapons expert holster. Ooh, let's do it. Very wise. Cool. And let's see what this explorer one is. Explorer holster, we already have. Explorer bandolier. Ooh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, good choice. Nice. Does that mean I get to hold more things? More, um. Sir? Nice. Let's see what it says. What is it? This one? Whoops, that one. Reinforced holsters reduce the amount of maintenance weapons required. Survivalist gun belt. Increase ammo capacity. Um, for revolvers and pistols. And in this one, reinforced offhand holsters reduce the amount of maintenance. Okay. All right. I think this is the one I just got. Weapons expert holster. Maybe not. Either way, it helps me. So that's good. That's what matters. Awesome. All right. Let's see, we do need to clean our guns as well. Whoops. Thank you for your help. Hey, oh gosh. You wanna pretend you live okay, in a society? That's me winding up, folks. <sighs> Sorry, dude. What I why am I crouched? I don't even know. Word Stop it. <laughs> Why are we? I can't remember what buttons I'm pressing right now. There we go. Satchel. That's what I wanted. Oh, I need to sell some of this stuff too. Look at all this crap we have. Sheesh. Discard all the cigarettes. Discard all of the premium cigarettes. Let me just clean my gun. Don't worry about me. Flacco's revolver, which is so cool because it has the skulls on it and stuff. Okay, go back. Is that person dead or? <laughs> Making sure everything's clean. 
Just cleaning my weapons, everybody. Don't mind me. They weren't that dirty, at least. Oh, well. Showed it was kind of dirty. Okay. Whoops. Ooh. Express. I should probably change it to... Maybe high velocity? L1 to spin weapon. There it is. I tapped it. Double tapped it. Let's see it again. Can you see it with me in the way though? Cool! I did it! Okay, that's one thing off my list. Sweet. Okie dokie. Let me get the... So all this random crap out of my inventory as well. And I, I think I should be able to go over here still, right? No, just say you want to pass the time. Let's do it. Oh, okay, just kidding. Yeah, wait till morning. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't want to try to break in. Sorry about that, buddy. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. I've been having so much fun. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might end up making it just a Saturday-only thing. Um, so that way I can maybe start playing The Last of Us sooner, but we'll see. I'll definitely keep you guys posted about that. There it is, Explorer, Explorer Bandolier. Increases ammo capacity for repeaters, rifles, and shotguns. That's what I thought, but it didn't show me that earlier. That's all right. Hello, is there anything I can craft? No. Nope, thank you. But I do need to sell some stuff. And maybe buy some things as well. Let's sell the platinum band. Let's sell all the wedding rings. Silver rings. All the silver camp buckles. Don't want to sell that. Like, get these cards out of here. I don't want to sell them. I don't want to. Thank you. And let's see if there's anything I can buy. He doesn't want to talk to me today. Is it too early or something? No moonshine. I guess I'll buy some gun oil now. Some more snake oil. Whoa, what are these? Special miracle tonic pamphlet? I don't have these. Whoa, okay. Pamphlet recipe on how to craft a dynamite arrow. What? I'll take that. Pamphlet recipe on how to craft explosive slug ammunition. And the miracle tonic. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Let's read it. Special tonic. Let's flip it. Read. Okay. <laughs> Reading it. Put away. See, it didn't pop up anything. Am I right? Am I crazy? I swear. Use. Read. Current Yarrow and Burdock Root. I mean, it's not showing me that I'm learning it. I swear. I don't see nothing. Animal fat and... A shotgun slug? Sheesh. Alright. Well, I'll read it anyway. Dynamite arrows, look at that. Oh my gosh. Dang. That sounds right up my alley. If I'm gonna use a, a bow and arrow, I want it to be like that. Hold on, it did say something though. What did it say? If concerned that fish or flesh is rancid, place a silver coin in it overnight. If it tarnishes, throw meat away. A silver coin? What? Wow. All right, well, thanks. Is there a door out front here? Or I have to go all the way out back? Okay. There's gotta be a door here. Right? Can I leave? What the F? 
He didn't want to say anything to me either. Bye. See you later. Or should I say smell you later? This shop makes me want to go into a, uh, like a antique store or something, you know? Okay, so we spun the weapon. We read some of our pamphlets. We didn't read all of them, though. Can I go under this? Is that Benjamin Franklin? Excuse me. <gasps> There's just so many people. It stresses me out every time. Thanks. Easy now, partner. Sorry. Me, madam, you. you look right foolish in that getup. Can't beat this weather. <laughs> what the? Where's my horse? She's running through the. <laughs> my horse is wreaking havoc in this town today. Joseph. Oh my gosh, stop it. I didn't mean to. The fuse. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to. Stop it. Don't tattletale on me. No. The fuse. Final warning. Okay, I give it. All right, let's cool your heels in a cell. <gasps> We're going to jail for our first time. This is the best move for you now. Trust All I did was throw a lady on the ground. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. Well, that's a first for us. Why does his beard look so weird? What's happening to his shirt? <laughs> well, I did say I wanted to experience everything in this game, so now we're experiencing jail time. Well, we feel better now. We're coming out or what? Jeez. I hate this town. I hate this town. All right, let's go to the next freaking Angelo Bronte area. Sheesh. You guys don't know how to take a joke. <laughs> I all I did was press triangle. I was just trying to get on my horse. So I didn't even get why it threw her down. I didn't even know that was an option. I swear. Okay, where can I park my horse? Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Hitch the horsey. Ooh, that's a really nice looking area. Yeah, let's go ahead and get my dead eye up. Let's get just a miracle tonic, why not? Crap, I didn't even do that. Um Gotta make sure to eat. I need to find a restaurant as well. Oh. Here we go. Alright. Got our little snack. Oh, they're not in here? Look how beautiful this is, though. Wow. I love this. This reminds me of Florida. Oh, snap. Coward written on the statue. General Quincy Harris. I did see some questionable statues. <clears throat> Excuse me. Questionable statues. On my little mini vacation, I was like, that's a little weird. Hello? Is this the bar? Must be this, yeah. Is there food here? Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Oh! Stick him up, cowboy. Dutch! <laughs> Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Joy is oh, a civilization. So. so, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, mm -hmm. how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. 
From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. What's up, everyone? Got a problem? You got a problem? <laughs> say it to my face. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, Wait, can I get a drink? I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> We're gonna ignore The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Can I get some help now? Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I am becoming Arthur Morgan. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Yes. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, hey, friend. Yeah. You, you'll be careful now. Thank Immigrants, you. they're not to be trusted. You son of a bitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> People are so sensitive. Alright, gotta talk to the kids in the alleyway, apparently. Like, I barely bump into them and they're like, Oh my gosh. How dare you? Is it this alleyway? Which alleyway, sir? This one. Uh oh, it's playing music. It's playing weird music, what does that mean? Just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes! And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man <laughs> you shake hands with will become your husband. What nonsense. Don't take my word for it then. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh yeah! Just through that archway there. I figured I saw them already, but you know. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? Italian. We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Hustle on, by a brat. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Oh, I've That's met Baron him before. That's Baron Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Hmm. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Cool. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, <laughs> mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, 
bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little oh bit of shit. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. You Are you freaking kidding me? Chase the kid. What the? Market for the kid. You, you fruit. Since when? <laughs> Fellas, you see the kid come through here about 14, 15. Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. We'll have cucumber be the secret magic word. I'm done. I'm telling you, cucumbers and fruit. Woo! Okay, bro. Now it's getting annoying. I'm about to shoot you. What's the problem, friend? Of course, had a feeling. Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ow. <laughs> Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. So they take my things or not? Turn to Dutch near the saloon. All right, well, I got my money back. So, all right. Oh, come on. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Thank God. Oh, that's a stranger I was gonna meet. Oh, there they are. 
Oh. Where are they? I'm gonna give you some money. Hey. Here you go. Will you help a fellow out? Uh, 25 cents. Get yourself some real food, huh? Yeah. Real food, oh. not alcohol. Listen. Thanks. You have to take this. Okay. Ginseng well, elixir. Guy. Nice. I lost my money playing poker. Mm. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh, Robbery tip. Oh. <clears throat> real. Hush, hush. Saint Denis gunsmith. All right. <laughs> Hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, well, keep that in mind. Where my horsey? Isn't the gunsmith like right here? Hold on. What? Maybe I can't do it yet. I need to head back to the saloon here. Let's see if I can get my horse to come. Help me out. Or we'll just go for another jog. Horsey! Harbok! I'm coming for you! Hi! It's so cool how it knows, like, where I am. Good morning, sir. Good morning. There. Well, that's cool how it has the street signs like in the tile. <laughs> the street names, I mean. Yeah, you cut me off. I know. I'm trying to learn patience now. <laughs> I've been on a wild goose chase. I got Pardon. Dutch. Morning. Morning. Mm. Oh, is he over here? This way, Arthur. I see you. I see you. He just chilling over here. What's up? Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Mm-hmm. I agree. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Mm -hmm. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Mm-hmm. The joys of civilization. What? How'd we do? Catch the street urchin before he reaches the market? Maybe if I wouldn't have fallen off the, uh, the rooftop. Complete within five minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, that was a long one, huh? Hi. How are you, ma'am? How are you? <laughs> Things, eh? Excuse me. Coming through. Hey, folks. So sad. Get on the horsey. Get you some food. All right. Stranger? There's someone here you can meet? Ooh, okay. I feel like we haven't seen that pop up in a while. Mercies of knowledge and... Sorry. 
the artist's way. Let's go to this one. It's just right here. Let's do it. Oh, lordy. It's so hard to fit when you guys have junk in the road. I could go on, like, the sidewalk, but, you know. Excuse me. Thank you. Hold on. If it's this guy, I don't want to do it. Come on. Have I not helped this jabroni enough? Sup? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Why? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? His oh, beard's mostly getting I, huge now, I huh? pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> Mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina that is truth. Press um. is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One that. is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a nudie drawing in our pockets now. Why are you wearing that? What's Why am I walking in the street as well? Inspect the document. That is not the artwork we're about to look at. Nope. Jeez. I'm gonna look away. That was the guy we had to meet. What is that? Is it worth a lot? Oh, there's another stranger back here. I was just there. Okay, we'll do it. Sorry. Sorry, I rock. I was coming in hot. I gotta get him a meal as well. We're going back and forth and back and forth. All right, Arvok. Oh. Okay. You, kind sir. Will yes. you help the poor? Yes, I will. I'm just giving out all my money <laughs> lately. So yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two help counts. Brother out. Sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who yeah. will go hungry. Sure. I'll donate. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, 
My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... Don't yeah. try him. Usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'll take care of some business. Hi, kitty. I gotta walk in this town or else I'm gonna get arrested. Come on, is it this way? Sorry. The fence guy? Uh-oh. Fence guy! Am I gonna lose my fence? Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Search for clues of the captives. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Search for... Uh, looking for anything in particular? <laughs> this isn't even the same guy. To search for clues. Okay. Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. I'm questioning. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Threaten. Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they they, they forced me to do it, sir. I swear. Intimidate the shopkeeper. Threaten him. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. <sighs> Just put the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Open the fake bookcase. I was wondering what the point of this room was, other than just being a room. I'm really not Open a door. Man. What is gonna happen here? Hello? Gajate, gajate. Hello? Wow. Another creepy, effed up basement. Hi, I'm gonna help you. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you. Free him. Free the captives. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Three. Ugh, I Please, hate this. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Return to the monk. Are they following me as well? Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Welcome. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. Creep. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Come on, stay close to me. Who knows where this weirdo shopkeeper went? Can't believe they were hiding people in the basement. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Come on. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres. Si eso es lo que importa. I don't want to go too quick. Come on. They yeah, were all running. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, 
Jeez. Brother, you're Brother right. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. <laughs> for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor. I got Give it money. To the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Okay. Help a brother out. Find the captives without threatening the store owner? Oh, well, that would have been fun, but, oh, man. All right. Two minutes and 45 seconds. That's all right. Jeez. All right. Who's next to meet? That was a lot in a row. Let's meet one more stranger and then we'll go to Dutch. Is Dutch the only one we have on our map right now? No, we have Micah and Albert. Albert's all the way in Emerald Station. Um, looks like he's going to capture some wild horses this time. Look how bright it is. Um, then we also have Leopold Strauss, probably another debt one, I would assume. Oh, that's Mary Beth, actually. MB is Micah, Micah, um, Micah Bell and Mary Beth. All right, so yeah, let's go down here. Hello, cutie, that's cool. Okay, Jack kept the double door swing until he damn near got sick the other night. We are spending so much time in St. Denis. I feel Arthur. I'm ready to be out and about, that's for sure. I had some legendary fish I wanted to catch last time, and I didn't get to do it because all hell broke loose. Let's see who we're meeting over here. Hey there, partner. Howdy. Hello, Miss. Hey, partner. How you do? Oh, this is an interesting little area. Where's this person I gotta meet? Ah, excuse me, bud! Whoops. Okay, making sure my weapons are put away. What's going on over here? You making something? Cooking something? What's up? What? Who is the well, inventor? Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. <laughs> no, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over the merchants drunk? of knowledge. <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, An as experiment. luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real oh. booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Dang. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Okay. Talk to Alden at Rhodes Station. How far out is this? All the way here? Dude, didn't I just... I could probably do this one later. I'll do this one after Dutch as I work my way back to Shady Bell. Um, because we just literally shot up the whole town of Rhodes. I don't want to go back there. I swear that always happens. Yep, sounds good to me. Thanks. I'll get to it eventually. How you doing, friend? But anyway, I swear we had to like go to Valentine right after we did the shootout in Valentine as well. I'm noticing a trend here. Hey, there's a little piggy. What's up? What's wrong? Uh, you good, girl? A little pet. I think Arbok wants to be out in the wild too, you know? Damn, 
harmonica action. My goodness. Okay, I'll give you some money. I'm just going around town donating. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Yes, here you go, 50 cents. Oh, thank you, sir. Welcome. Truly, thank you. It Welcome. means a lot to me. Welcome. Okay, bye. Hello. Hi. Ma'am. Please, there's someone here. Alms for the blind. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you for not getting mad at me and... Hold on. Oops, sorry. Why are you messing with me? I was gonna say, I swear someone else just... Oh, brother Dorcas. Okay, Dorkins. He's got another mission. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I also want to just go back to just see what our new spot looks like. Because I didn't get to see it all finished up yet. So that's something I'd like to do as well. That looks like an Angelo Bronte style house. This pink one. It's huge. Alright, let's hitch up Arvok, make sure Arvok's safe. Oh, it's this one? Man, why couldn't it be the cool pink house? Hello? There we go. Like, why can't I hitch the horse? It's nice and quiet over there, though. You like that. Be right back. Here's some food. <laughs> All right. I feed Arvok more than I feed myself. Can I jump over this? Nice. Hey, gang. What's up? John and Dutch. There you are. You boys ready? Angelo Bronte, a man of honor. I think what I might have ruined it. about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European. <laughs> Clearly got oh, power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard yeah, so much right? about? Relax. You looking for I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Go faster. <laughs> I'm pressing X. Oh my gosh. They Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? 
You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Jeez. Indeed you have. Now where's Jack? That's all we need. That's all we want. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers yeah, and got nothing to do with any one of us. You had yeah. nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. Nice line. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. I was going to say, Angela you do the Brock. same thing. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> now get on with it. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Out of pocket? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is oh. it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run them out. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> I want to see Jack. Salute. Salute. Let me see Jack, and then I'll think about it. Oh, man. Come on, girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? Probably. No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Mm -hmm. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? No. We don't even know where Jack is. For real. Listen, we found Bronte. We got mm. in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Where? Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Sorry. Okay. Here's the hitching post. I can see the cemetery. Should I get my repeater? Probably. Oh, now it's getting real creepy. This way. running for it. Why? Why are you running for it? Alright. Let's see what's going on in here. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. 
Is, am I gonna be able to find it with the eagle eye or just by luck? Stay quiet. We don't want to spook. Okay, sorry. How they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Sorry. One day. <laughs> Moonshine and a cigarette card. Let's go. I'll go first. You stay close. Sweet. Whoa. What's this all about? Why that light up? I can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Why is this plaque in particular? I get the feeling Bronte's shining. got his feet up laughing at us. Alright, whatever, let's go. I'm just gonna go straight up. And keep it down. I don't want him to bolt on us. Okay, I'll sneak. Sooner we get this done, sooner we get Jack back. Okay, there's someone to the you hear something? top right. Look at the source of the disturbance. Doggy. Hey there, boy. Come on, doing? let's keep on. Heard something over to the left, I could have sworn. Definitely. Close. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Real. Unknown animal. The rats. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Get out of here. I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Okay. I'm sorry. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Mm-hmm. Guess I won't know what the unknown animal was. I see something shining up ahead. Sorry. Get the cover, and we'll bust the door in. I hear something in there. Here we go. You boys found my puppies watching. Good. 
be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We okay. can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Chocolate bar, let's go. Oh, grave robbers, we live uh -huh, the big time. For real. Search the grave robbers' stash. You see that though? I hit him in the face and then shot him in the face. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Do like I have I time said, to loot? Let's look around where they jump. We're going to. We're going to. There was something else here too. I swear. It was like purple. Loot one more. We can't go back to Bronte. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, we're looking. Josh. I'm trying to loot. Oh, whoops. In the worst possible spot here. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. We're here, we're here, we're here. I think there might be something in here. Pick up. Pick up the robber stash. Whatever it is, this little baggy. Got it. Good. Great. Let's get out of here. Freaking cops are coming Shit. now. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. I hope so. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Really? I can't unlock it? Come on. We best stick to the side. Blood all over me. <laughs> Coming this way, get down. I'm down, I'm down, I think. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. What um am I hiding enough or not? <laughs> Please, John. With me. I mean, our horses are just sitting right there. Why wouldn't they just wait for us? John, are you sure? Me too. Why don't you go left? I'll keep going straight. All right. Gosh. Okay. Okay, we should be able to get out now. Come on. That we just stole. Come on. Looks like we lost them for now. Come on. Let's just get there. I'm already well, going. <laughs> it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Ooh, look at this let's creepy just get back right there. Now. Collect our side of the deal. All right, let's you go. All right? He best not be playing games with us. All he right. almost certainly is. <sighs> well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. I was just stuck on I some got trees. I feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Well, like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Um, John, what the f are you doing back there? Get up here. <laughs> John. Oh my gosh, he was like stuck or something. You good now? What was happening? He's gonna make me get a bronze, huh? Oh my gosh, right. now you're ready. Let's get this done. Ooh, whose horse is that? Is that Duchess? Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, Yay. you took your time. Wow. 
I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Yeah. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, on, just simple country boys. There. Jack. Aw, look at his little outfit. Wish I could say something to him. We got That's Jack back. Up. Hallelujah. I was about to take down this Let's entire go. town. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're yeah. Gonna love it. Ugh, okay. Yeah. It's like, what's happening? All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You Yay. sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots least. of books. Did mm. they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like <laughs> worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Yeah, you know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Good to see Real you, Jack. Good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? <laughs> At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. <laughs> Jack's definitely been through a lot with this life. He probably enjoyed being there. We were all worried. He wouldn't have enjoyed it for long though, that's for sure. Who knows what it would have happened. Hey, back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Yay. Abigail! Wake we got you, up. your son. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. And John, I know he's not the best, but... I got but... my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. Mm. How are you, boy? I'm fine, John thanks. Helps. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! Yay. <laughs> Boy, say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Gang share 225, my share 112. Mission complete. Got silver actually. Encounter the dog and the drunk. 
Don't get spotted by the law and complete within 10 minutes and 40 seconds. I probably could have got that one if I wouldn't have waited for John because he was taking forever. All right, we're all hanging out and partying. Let's celebrate. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Job, Javier. All right. Hooray! All right. Let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando, y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Gang are celebrating the safe return of Jack and will be unavailable for other activities for a while. <laughs> Came and antagonized Micah. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? I can't antagonize him. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so, <laughs> mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Charles, what's up? You all right, Charles? I tell you, boy. Yeah, the time taking it all in. Joy, I'm going to play with kid back. Amigos. Sure. No le digan so I got caught preso. doing Porque something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, Ooh. long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. <laughs> anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. Hang. For a chicken? For a chicken. Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, the, he shot the rope clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Hey, I got a sore neck right now, too. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> petrified. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> We did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. Oh, once I was a I gotta get down the main lane. My master used to beat on me. My mistress did the same. Till early one morning. 
minute Sailor Boy came ashore, and he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, home boys, home, it's where I want to be. Home boys, home, with the girl on either knee. With a little ribbon tossing hat and that coat and navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed the queue. He rumbled me, he tumbled me, he screwed me to a wall. He never let me catch my breath, I got to sleep at all. He up me and he down me and he caught me out and in. He fucked me black and blue, though of course it was a sin. And early in the morning, before the break of day, he handed me a tiny note and he forgave do what you do. Take this, me darling, for the damage I've done. Nine months from now, you'll have a daughter or a son, and if it be a son, that the darling on your knee, and if it be a son, send a bastard off to sea, with that little ribbon tucked and having that cold and navy blue, let him climb the rake, let his daddy climb up you. Jeez. All right, I can't even talk to him. Ugh. Come on, oh, there we go. Oh, you know me, Arthur. I always like a good party. Suit yourself, then. Yep. See it for what the hell it is. You okay there? I am fantastic, Arthur Morgan. Okay. <laughs> Lord, Karen, how are you? Suspiciously as usual. I. I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Well, how very kind. On board the heart. They're singing, yeah. Pulling all about the sheets. His bed was due about the sheets. Started as a thieving line in 1849. Opposition they defies. People must be gone or die. Put your crown in here with smelly man. It's fat and all the man. Misty plug tobacco smoke. Ladies are coming out to sit with dresses and tobacco spit. The talk of politics is where. Started a thieving line in 1849. Oh, sorry. I was trying to say hi to Bill. Just getting my drink on first. Okay. And on your shoulders was a bolt to help them out. Somebody else. Promise when you're here, you take a glass of walk over half the way. Molly. It's not all about you right now, okay? I can't even greet her. Pearson. I think we're going to be okay, Mr. Morgan. See if you feel the same in the morning. Who's snoring like that right now? <laughs> Is that a snore or a gator? I gotta see the inside of this house too, but I gotta eat something first real quick. Oh, this one didn't make it on there. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. <laughs> well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Karen. For real. Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Hello. Here he faith goes. It's all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. Which is? We are gonna leave this place. And we are gonna find our own paradise. 
Thanks, Susan. Hello, Helen. Tahiti. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. What? Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its peasants' vengeance on. Detritus? We are gonna be free. Free. Dang. Is he God or something? Yes, Jeez. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. She okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. I bet, dude. Man. See happy. I can get Arthur a drink. Hey, she grabbed another uh, one. Please. She pushed me out the way. <gasps> Go to bed. Leave me alone. I'm gonna chug one more just to see what happens. I don't know how many I need to like get drunk. Don't you go riding Abigail up. I wouldn't dream of it. Mr. Arthur. Mm -hmm. Sure. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died at Six Points Cabin. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's true. Oh, brother, I'm really drunk. Okay, bye. Right, get inside from the storm, you know what I mean? I think I said, well, I guess there's Strauss. What time did they go to bed? It's getting a little scary out here. Oh, I think Strauss is asleep. Hey, get up. <laughs> oh, uh, what is it? Uh -huh. uh, don't worry, it can wait. Let me sleep, damn it. <laughs> okay, now I think. I, oh, what is happening? Jeez, Bill and Pearson pushing each other around. Alright, let's see what the inside looks like now. Has their own rooms now. Ooh. Anything good hiding here that I didn't find the first time? Yay. Oh. Mary Beth. Hey. <laughs> She's trying to sleep. Sorry. It's too tempting. Sorry about that. What's going on upstairs? Yeah, I'm so glad everyone has like, whoa, a big old storm rolling through. Close the door, Micah. Sheesh. What's going on up here? Dutch is trying to sleep. What's in this room? Oh, was it downstairs? And Dutch gets this hole upstairs? This house is gonna blow over. I guess there's some drawers. Oh, is the ledger in there now? I didn't search this desk, I don't think. I wonder if there's anything in here. Nope. I'll 
I'll check on that other drawer later. Alright, well. I guess he gets this whole upper house. Who's that? John? Oh, this is his whole family. Oh, okay. At least they get some of the upstairs, too. Oh, this is mine. This is mine. I see. I see. Yay! Oh, the whole... Whole window out! <laughs> take the hair pomade. Can I finally take some of this stuff or not? Put in Miracle Tonic. First bank robbery newspaper scrap? What's that? Read. First bank robbery newspaper scrap. Raisin bank robbery. Three men saw it. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years. Got three sacks. Three men traveled to ho hovels and shanties and even a home for orphans. Who is this about? Is this about us? Fast travel map is there now. Oh. All the shells. I'm just gonna take them all. We need to restock, apparently. Usually I'm all out, or usually I'm full. They're like, you can't take any more of this item. There's a little crafting station down here too, or what? Take the fire bottle. Can't carry any more. Oh, what? What? What was that? Something popped up for a second that wasn't fast travel. Arrows. I'm gonna accidentally fast travel. Oh, high velocity revolver uh, ammo. All right. <laughs> I think we're good now. Shaving kit. Got our bed. Got gun oil on our bed. Can't see it ever because it's so finicky. Can't take the gun oil or the horse stimulant. All right. Got our clothing locker. Let's finally make sure to save this outfit. R3 saved. Oops, sorry. Um, let's see here. Hats. Found hats, the tricorn hat. Awesome. Do not remove that one from my horse. No, I want that one. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth one. Okay. I think I got everything. Make sure I have custom outfit stored on my horse though <laughs> this is my progression of outfits I've chosen <laughs> this is the final one final form oh where'd my little purple yeah you're right where my purple thing go let's remove this one from my horse I, wait I just have this one outfits on a horse I only have two eh, I guess that's fine Let's do the summer gunslinger. We should get that on here too. The innocent. Ooh, I like the fringe on that one actually. I like this one too. Let's store this one. We have two more, so let's do that one. The innocent. One more. We'll go with the OG summer gunslinger. We got a winter one as well. Cold temperatures. We got hot temperatures and cold temperatures. Nothing for average. <laughs> Cause we ain't average, all right. Awesome. Now I do need to. Yeah, where's the? Who's screaming outside? 
Do you guys hear the screaming? All right. Where's the upgrade thing? Right around here. Okay. See if there's anything to uh, contribute. I wonder what kind of stuff we need to upgrade. I know I need to obviously um, let's give some of these items, I guess. Actually, no. I want to see what we even need first. I know we need some ammo. Ledger. And also, I just want to see if there's anything different with this camp now that we're here instead. Get some more medicine, some more food, some more ammo. An order from who? I guess that's it. We got nothing else to upgrade. I kind of find that hard to believe. All right, I'll donate some more money now. Someone donated two reading glasses. Where'd they get those from? Come on. Contribute. Let's contribute 89.74. Jeez. They are like, <laughs> in today's uh, episode, of Red Dead Redemption 2. They have been way more vulgar with their language. Give money. 8974 donated to the camp. There you go. Alright, y'all got to sleep. Now it's time for me to sleep. Let's just go to sleep until noon. And hydrate. Okay, got a note. Inspect a letter. My dear Arthur. Oh, Mary. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you I for your hear help from with her Jamie. Again. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Dang. Life right. is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. All right, Mary, now you're starting to, you know, be a little much. What'd you guys think of this relationship, toxic? Second letter from Mary. I mean, I want him to be happy. You know? I want him to get out of this life. Before the life catches up to him. But, you know. Feels a little, a little odd. I don't know. Alright. Let's see what we're up to today. Dang, we got Mary Beth. What is all this? Why is it all freaking out right now? I don't know. We have Hosea. We have Mary Beth. Oh, wow. Like, just the preview of this one makes me want to do it. They're all dressed up and snazzy. Oh, it's the mayor thing. It is. Okay. <sighs> Mary Beth. I'm not into that one. That one looks... That one does not look good. I don't like it. Oh, and a coach robbery with Lenny. So many options. Oh my gosh. Who's this? Oh, Mary. That's the brother. Dorkins. Albert. Mason. And we've got the professor. The clerk at Road Station might know where to find a shipment of moonshine. Well, since we're in the house and since Lenny is right here... Let's attempt to rob a bait, uh, a coach, I guess. 
Do I not have, have enough arrows at this point now? I feel like I should. I haven't been hunting either though, so I gotta do that too. All right, let's see. Oh, he's in here, okay. Hey, Lenny. What? He's gotta be downstairs then. My neck is killing me today. Looking to the left here. It's always the worst when you sleep on something hey, wrong. What's up, Lenny? Were you for the what are you doing? Ski? Nothing? I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh... Reminds me of my treasure map. Me. I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, no, but... No, I'm coming with you. I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come, come on, back. kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had it, look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> hmm. I mean, after all what right. happened to Sean, we Let's can't be too careful, then. all right? He should be on his way right now. Okay. Seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. True. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. <laughs> oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. 20? Hi, cutie. Right. Ready. Okay, then, follow me. Girl. I saw a good spot for an ambush. Right. Who's the fella told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay. Okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Okay. Uh, those fellas who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. I gotta find the killer as well. I really wanna do that. I wanna do some more treasure hunting, because I love that. And if I miss anything, in this first playthrough, I'm totally cool with coming back and trying to um, clean up what I left. Side missions, treasures, all that kind of stuff. And then I also would like to uh, stream it just like I did with Skyrim, you know? Did 100 episodes of Skyrim and then now I've been streaming it on Wednesdays here and it's been so fun. Skyrim community is the best. I've been really enjoying that too. So I'd love to do the same or similar with Red Dead too. So if there's something you guys want me to find or you want to help me with something, then we'll uh, we'll go about it on stream together. Ooh, that tree is awesome. Hold on, isn't there something with the tree? No, there's a serpentine mound. Hold on. While we're going past it, I want to mark it right here. That was a cool tree. Hold on, no, I don't want to do that. I want to add a marker. There we go. Okay, sorry. Okay, here we are. Okay. And I want to go back to that church and see if I did forget a, a premium Let's cigarette go pack or not. To the right here. Okay. I trust you, Lanny. Should be good. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Um, hide, bro. There we go. I 
And sometimes, you know, I just want to chill and there it is. fish. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Nope. I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out or we're coming in. Shit! U.S. Marshals, you're under arrest. I am. I'm like right in their face, dude. I can't turn fast enough. Go, 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 boom. say just a dead because I was in the middle of a dead eye shot I figured we take up position behind these rocks yeah seems good I might as well have just stay back here now I know from catfish Jackson anytime now yep yep get my no escorts neither <laughs> Peter out whoops high velocity damage Go with express. Hands in the air. You know what? I'm just gonna wait I back here. The weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit. U.S. Marshals, you're under arrest. Uh oh. Whoops, I. I have not, um, get back there from the trap. Is that Elon Musk? Oh, okay. Dang. I got nobody to even, like, shoot. There we go. Sorry, horsies. Oh, he put on his mask. I didn't have mine, man. I'm gonna have to restart. Who's even talking right now? Oh. Not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, that's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. Wow. Set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like <laughs> you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so... Don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Dang. Not very much money at all. My share was like 25 bucks. Let me see if I can hurry and loot. Now they're freaking looking for me in this town too. Because I didn't realize. <laughs> for some dumb reason, I didn't think I should put on my bandana. Firebox. But I'm already wanted. I might as well just search. Where's this last person? I think that was it. 
Now my bounty is at twelve fifty. What the? Can I cut? Can I cut them free, please? Hello? Why can't I cut them free? There we go. Please. There we go. Be free. Let me get you guys. <laughs> They're happy. They're like, bye, peace out, suckers. You guys are dumb. All, all you do is shoot each other all the time. What's happening? I'm helping. You keep angry. Never mind, just you here. No, no, no. Intervene. You just had to know your way in. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Take me off this horse! Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm getting I'm gonna try to get you without getting kicked. Now what? Okay, lower me down, please. Okay. Please, Tommy. Cut free. I helped a stranger this time. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, praise me! You came when you did. <laughs> I don't know what would happen. You just get home safe, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Jeez, take that horse with you. Any snacks or anything? I got some. Sheesh, always something going on around here. There's that. Oh, sorry. What are you, what were you saying? <laughs> The... Oh, this is that guy. Can I loot him without losing my honor? I do still have my bandana on now, huh? Oh, she did take the horse. Nice. Good job. So I can take this off now. Next time I do a robbery, I gotta do it with uh, my awesome masks on instead, you know? I don't think there should be anything left with the stagecoach. Doesn't look like that. I gotta... I should go back to, um... Rhodes now. So I gotta pay off my freaking bounty, apparently. I'm gonna check this tree. And then I'm gonna check this abandoned... Uh... Church. Look at this! Jeez, such a huge area! And then I'm gonna go pay off my bounty with... The clerk. Can't remember his name right now. All right. Yeah. Let's do that first. Good yeah, job, Percy. Or Vok. Hi. You gonna go home or what? Oh, I remember this. Easy, easy. Yep. Never mind. I remember this cool tree. This is where the um one of the killer clues was, so never mind. Yeah. That was like the first one I found too, that was so cool. And I think because of the same exact reason. I was like, ooh, this looks cool. Let's go across this battlefield. I think it's just over here to the right. I don't think there's anything in here. I feel like I've checked with eagle eyes so many times. Oops, sorry. Hi, piggy. Okay. There we go. Abandoned church. 
pretty sure it was up here if there, if there is anything. I'm pretty sure I already searched this as well. Expect the lockbox. Unless it respawns. Dang, does it respawn or did I miss this the first time? Nothing else? Can't take any of that? Okay. Pretty sure it was up here. Up on that ledge. Let's just go look and see. Woo! Come on, you got it. Nope, it is still here. Awesome. Pick him up. We got another card, baby. Flora of America card. Beautiful little, little hummingbird. And then what's this? What's this other thing? Like, why can't I grab it? It looks cool. I can't even tell what it says. Well, I hope it's not something I need. I don't think so. I don't think I can grab it. Okay, well, I feel better now. Okay. Oh my gosh. That didn't seem like that far of a fall. Sheesh. Okay then. Be a little dramatic today, Arthur. Nice. I feel better now. Yep. Got that done as well. Ran right into a stick. Let me take this off now. Let's make it back to the post office. Let's see what trouble we can get up into. You know, the day I find the killer's home, I'm gonna freak out just like I did the dinosaur bones. That will be such a cool moment. I can't wait. It's like the face rock too. When I found that, I was like, ooh. I get very excited. I like to have fun, you know? I ain't too cool for school. Well, I feel like this would be a good spot for the dream catchers. There aren't any, but it looked like a good spot for it. Sorry, our boss. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> I really don't know how I don't have like a huge bounty in this town. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 so, so sorry. I guess I could just ride up the, the tracks, huh? Let's do that. That bind us. Fools up to. Is Mr. Black ran away forever fault, away? Fault to Darkie forever White. Ago? Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean uh, off you. Come uh, on. And uh, I'll uh, tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Uh, you two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister. Maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. Okay. Okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. <laughs> nice fella. Yeah, you right. love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. 
Just shut up. You shut up. Take down the wanted posters around Rose to stop bounty hunters searching for Mr. Black and Mr. White. <laughs> um, okay. Guess I'll just go on my own. Arvok ditched me. I gotta pay up the bounty as well. So I feel ya. I'm wanted too. Where's my door I can run into? I got mail. You've got mail. Too slow. Gotta take down these wanted posters. Oh, not you. Inspect, uh, inspect the poster. I was gonna say, I think there actually is someone I'm supposed to be looking for, is that Mark Johnson. Put away. One of five. All right, let's see about my friend here. Hey, I gotta pay my bounty. I got some mail too. What the F, okay. No one wants to talk to me lately. It happened in Skyrim yesterday too. I'm like, what the heck? Probably because I gotta be on the correct side. Glad you dropped in. Hi. I've got that uh information you asked for. Yes, please ask about the moonshine. Um need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Okay, inspect the note to find out more details about the robbery. Read the Blue Water Marsh Coach Robbery Note. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of St. Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. Okay. Put away. And then also... I think that's it. Here enough to scare the horses looking like that. Bite me. What are these other bounty posters? Are they like all over? Oh, is it because I just messed up? Oh no, I thought I could do like multiple missions at once. Lame, all right, well, whatever. I guess because I started that and messed it up. I'm sorry. Let's get our Vok back over here too. Look how beautiful. Ooh, and the beautiful moon too. I think this is where we are going to end it even though I could definitely keep going. I see like a smokestack over there. I saw one over there. I want to get this moonshine, but yeah, I think we'll have to stop there, unfortunately. So I gotta get this edited by Saturday, too. I gotta, whew, I got a lot to do. So thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you, as always, to my extra supporters. Thank you so much for everything you do because you let me keep this going, and I have so much fun doing this. This is my dream, and I'm so thankful for every day I get to do this. So thank you so much. If you are new here, consider subscribing, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Trying to get to, it would be awesome to get to 50K. That would be the dream by the end of this year. That would be incredible. So we'll see. It's a stretch goal right now, but we're going to try, okay? Um, so thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you on the next episode of Red Dead. Bye.